Now, some parents are overwhelmed by the intricacies and expenses of caring for children with cancer. But a word at the Kenyatta National Hospital has become both a rescue center and a home for such children. We have that story. 28 beds in this hospital ward at the Kenyatta National Hospital for 28 innocent, jovial young ones for whom Kenyatta has become a home. Esther Simeo's welcoming face is just but one among scores of children sitting every morning for their breakfast meal before they begin their treatment processes. These are children between 3 and 14 years who get admitted here ready for the cancer medicine which is supposed to be given in three doses for a period of six months. Treating cancer takes long and they stay long in the hospital uh, but at least we try once we are able to to let them go home because in between when they are well enough we even allow them to go back to school. Cancer has for decades received AV sustained and focused advocacy and awareness campaigns the world over. In recent years, the theme has geared towards fighting the myth that cancer is a death sentence which comes with no warnings and no signs. Their survival rate from the time we diagnose something like leukemia we will stay with, we will move with them for at least five to six years. And then that time they have a relapse and we can't, we can't do more. It is not only painful when undergoing cancer treatment, but it is also expensive. The cost of managing the disease is just but one of the problems experienced even when dealing with adult patients. Caring for just one child with cancer can cost up to 500 shillings a year. That means the most children here, they are from the low class or the middle class, they can't afford. The cost of transplant there is four million to five million. The ordinary Kenyan cannot raise that. And we don't use one drug like the way you have malaria, which give you something for malaria. We use th uh, three or four of them together and each of them is quite costly. Esther Simi was admitted two years ago and like her colleagues, they find solace in their nurses, doctors, and volunteers who dedicate their time to them by playing with them, showering them with gifts, and also engaging them with some classwork activities. According to Dr. Fatima Abdallah, most of the financial help comes from donors and well-wishers. <laughs> Sometimes, like the small one, that Gloria will just cry, wants to be carried. She's three and a half, she wants to be carried. So when they are around, they will be able to carry, they, you know, give that affectionate love to replace maybe the mother, but it can't be. But at least they feel better. The hospital holds over 90 children with cancer and in some cases, a number of these children are abandoned by their parents and relatives due to high cost of cancer treatments. Cancer is not understood well. Some of our people think it is witchcraft. So even after we finish treating these children, when we call the parent to come and collect the child, they are not very willing. We have challenges. We have these children coming. And sometimes we have challenges in that the parents when they bring the children, they don't come back to visit. Last year, statistics indicated that over 40% of cancers in Kenya are preventable. This is Esther Nasimiu, nine years old, mentally retarded and suffering from cancer. None of her family members has paid her visits, and she calls this place her second home. Caroline Kipnok, KTN.